Another hair-raising drama on Inner Sanctum in just 40 seconds. Stay tuned. There's a special kind of enjoyment in facing our problems when they're presented interestingly and dramatically. This accounts for the success of ABC's daytime series, Modern Romances, which approaches everyday problems with an open mind. Modern, that's the keynote of these dramatizations. These are the problems that beset human beings every day, every year. And they are the fascinating themes of modern romances, presented every weekday from the pages of Modern Romances magazine. Join us, won't you, tomorrow morning for another Modern Romances on ABC. Inner Sanctum Mysteries, brought to you by the American Broadcasting Company. Tonight, Twice Dead, starring Larry Haynes. Good evening, friends of the creaking door. This is your host to welcome you again into the Inner Sanctum. Come in. Come on in, please. And will you excuse me while I scrape the mud off my hands? Got them dirty in the cemetery, digging up a plot for you. But that's something that we'll all go into sooner or later. A plot? Mm. <laughs> oh, by the way, before we start, I'd like to reassure you. If you suddenly find yourself spinning like a wheel, don't be alarmed. It's because you've got spooks all around you. Oh, and please be considerate, folks. If you find yourself going to pieces, pull yourself together. Remember, I have to sweep up afterwards. <laughs> On the northern coast of Maine, there's a high point of land. A high point from which there's a sheer drop of several hundred feet to the rock churned surf below. Centuries of seas have shaped three tall, spire like rocks into needle sharp points which look from the sea like the spires of an ancient Gothic cathedral. The cliff is called Cathedral Rock. And here, some weeks ago, David Morgan, grief tortured, tugged his wife's impaled body off the bloody point of the tallest spire. There are those in the village who say that David Morgan's mind is broken because he insists Carol will come back to live with him. I'll be finished in a moment, Seth. I told Morrison in the village you was carving Carol's tombstone yourself. You left. Mm-hmm. Easy to read, too. Here lies Carol Morgan, wife of David Morgan. Born July 14th, 1912. Died horribly on Cathedral Rock, August 12th, 1950. Still don't see why you put that in. Why not? She did die horribly, didn't she? But I... With that spike of rock coming out of her back like a speared salmon... Time you forgot those things, David. Time you forgot other things, too. What other things? There's no secret about you thinking Carol's coming back from the dead. Oh, I don't mean it to be a secret. There, there are forces all around us, dead and living, that we don't understand, Seth. I, I feel Carol in his rooms... I smell her perfume. I hear her voice in the wind when I'm at a grave on the cliff. That's only natural, son. You're grieving. A little while... In a little while, Carol will be back. If you're going to help me get this stone to a grave, get a lantern and come on. We'll hold the lantern closer. a decent enough stone. Folks in the village been saying things about you. Oh, like what? But a man acting like you do is a guilty conscience. And what do you think, Seth? Me, I don't believe such things. 
any more than I believe the dead can return. Come on back to the house. No. I want to stay here a while. Hey, but you've got I want to stay here a while. Sure. Torture yourself like you do. Every night come dark. Go ahead. You'll meet Carl again when I bury you next to her. Up here. Now, leave me alone. Let me be. Oh, Carol. Carol. Come back. Tell me you forgive me. Hello. What? Carol. You're sad. I can tell I'm sad, too. Can you help me? You've come back. Carol, you've come... Why do you call me Carol? Who are you? I... I don't know. What are you doing here? I'm looking for my cat. A black cat with white feet and a, a white spot under the neck. Why did you come here? I don't know. I just got on the bus at Portsmouth and then... I thought of my cat and I had the bus stop and I... came toward the sea. You'd better come back to the house with me. Oh, but I can't. Not now, come along. I'll help you find your cat. Have you seen him? No, no. There's been no cat around here. Not for several weeks. Why did you call me Carol? I was waiting for someone. Someone named Carol. <laughs> Want some more coffee? Oh, no, thank you. I, I feel better now. You've been very nice. People haven't been nice. They look at me strangely. Well, it might be your clothes. They're torn. No, it's more than that. I've looked in mirrors. My eyes don't look like other women's eyes look. Will you help me, please? I, I must be somebody. Sure, sure, I'll help you. I'll get Doc Southers up here, and he'll be able to... Uh... It's Minnie. Oh, see, I told you. Come here, Minnie. Come here, baby. Well, what, what did you call that cat? Minnie, of course. Why? Why are you looking at me like that? That cat belonged to my wife. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been in this house since the day she died. And, and the cat's name is Minnie. Oh, then... Then it must be that I belong here. This must be my home. The devil's got hold of you, David. I don't know you anymore. I don't trust you. Why not? What harm do you think I can do you or want to? I've known you since you were a boy. Long years. I come back here to stay with you when Carol died, to help. But you're beyond help. You're mad. Because you're thinking Carol has come back to you, living in this woman's body. And who's to say that couldn't happen? You? I'm a God-fearing man, David. And such a thing would be the devil's work. I'll have none of it. If Carol can come back to me in any way, that's what I want. Even if she made a pact with the devil himself. No! Oops, the girl. Bring the flashlight. Come on. Open up. It's David Morgan. It's the chair. The rocking chair by the window. Carol's chair. What about it? It rocked. It rocked by itself. It must have been the wind. Oh, the window's closed. What, what, was that all you saw? It was all I saw. But there were things I felt. Like what? The chair stopped rocking. As though someone had gotten up from it. And then the floor between the chair and the bed creaked. And a moment later... The bed spring sat beside me as though someone sat there. But but you saw nothing. I only heard a sigh. A tired, tired sigh. T take it to my room, Seth. Oh, you had a dream. I saw all your, your minds upset. Tomorrow I'll try to find out who you are. If if it's not too late. <laughs> Has the morning brought you to your right senses? Depends on what you call right senses. I mean about the girl. Where is she? I don't know. 
I haven't seen her this morning. Where did Carol used to be this time of morning? A little after eight. She'd have been in the hot house looking to her flowers. Why? Good morning. Oh, look at these wonderful flowers. Uh, Do you mind that I pick some for the table? You can pick as many flowers as... Well, what are you staring at me for? That dress. Where'd you get it? Oh, I, I found it in a closet. Mine was so torn I had to do something. Do you mind? Oh, no, no. And, and your hair is different, too. I, I feel better with it up. Does it look right? Exactly right. You finished eating? Oh, yes. I, I've got to go. I'm going out for Haddock today. I won't be seeing you again, then. Why not? Because I have to go. I must find out who I am. I mean to do just that tonight. But what will I do till then? Nothing. Just wait. I'm driving Seth to the village. You'll be... Quiet and alone. Just rest. But I... I'm afraid of being alone. You won't be. Alone. Meow. Meow. Oh, shut up. I fed you this noon, didn't I? Oh, who, who's there? That's me. Is that you? Carol? You scared me. Who are you? I guess you're not Carol, are you? I guess not. Have you seen her? No, I, I uh, understand Carol is dead. That's what everybody says, but I, I don't believe it. I come here whenever David leaves, and I look for her. What was Carol to you, I mean? My sister. Oh, what makes you think she's still alive? Have you seen her? No, but David hasn't changed a thing in this house since he hid her. You see? There. And over there. Everything. Just like she left it. Her aprons hanging on the door. You see? But maybe he left Yeah. And I found something in the cellar. Something very important. Uh, what? A skeleton. And I, I found a box with lots of money in it. it it's fun looking for Carol. Come with me and I'll, I'll show you what I found. No. You come oh. with me. No. Don't make me mad. You can help me look for Carol. I'll, I'll look upstairs. No. I want you to come with me in the cellar. Help! You must make me mad. Oh. What? What? No. Don't be scared. It's me, Van. Where? Where is this? I I took you to the cellar. We've got to find Carol. I'm, I'm sorry I hit you. you. You made me mad. What are you going to do? Why did you take me here? Carol is dead. No, she ain't. She's here somewhere. Besides, I, I promised I'd show you the room below the cellar. Well, with, the, with the skeleton and the box of money in it. Don't you remember? Help me out. You see, I've lifted the door. It's heavy. It's stone. But I'm strong. Yes. Is that where it is? Yeah. Yes. I'll, I'll hold the lantern over the opening. See? There's a ladder. Get the box for me. I want to see it. All right. Wait here and hold the lantern so I can see. Oh, the lantern higher. I can't see. Oh, oh the lantern higher. <laughs> Let me out. Sit. 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 
than I thought. What's the matter? What are you crying about? A, a man was here. Who? Who? Carol's brother. Dan? Yes, he was horrible. Why didn't you tell me about him? He isn't important. Oh, he isn't. He could have killed me. You told me everything else about Carol. You should have told me that. Hey, never mind, Van. You just do what I told you. As soon as David gets in that crazy mind of his, that Carol's spirit's coming back in you. He'll have no secrets from you. And we'll know where he keeps that box of money. I... I don't want to do it. I'm through. No, he ain't. They took good care of that. Took the trouble of finding out some things about you in Hollywood. I don't care what you found out. I don't care if you are my uncle. The money you've been sending me since Mother died was something you promised her you'd do. Yep. Now you're going to help me get it back. All of it. And lots more for both of us. You want to make a success out there as an actress, don't you? Takes money, don't it? Uh, lots of it. Well, David and Carol had over 100000 put aside in that box of theirs. How just you find it? My first professional role. An amnesia case. For half what's in a tin box. It'll be easy. You'll see. He might as well not tell you tonight. No. I'm through. What's sailing you anyhow? I don't know. I get to thinking what they do. That Carol's still alive or... Or that her ghosts around, anyhow. Oh, bosh. So I buried myself and don't believe in ghosts. You've been studying it too much, that's what. Maybe. Uncle Seth... What is it? How long can a man live in a small sealed room without air? <laughs> Hello, sir. Where's the woman? Upstairs, I reckon, David. How was the fishing? Bad. Maybe half a ton, mostly scrod. What's the girl been doing? Just walking around, I guess. She seemed happy here. Or, or is she restless? Did, did she leave to see anybody or such? Seems happy. Too happy. What's that? That's what? Shh, shh. Can't you hear something pounding like? Yes, sir. Uh, kind of do. In the cellar scene. I'm going down to have a look. Might be a beam slipping. David! Oh, hello. Oh, David, I'm, I'm glad you're back. I, I want to talk to you very seriously, I do. All right. I think the time's come to talk, if you feel like it. But not here, please. I... I want to walk along the bluff. The last time I walked this way toward the rock was with Carol. She died horribly. Nobody saw us. We were alone. Was that frightening you? No. I know the story and I feel very sad about it. That's why I wanted to talk to you before it's too late. Before we do anything about finding out who I am, I... I don't want to go back to any other life. Why not? I never was so happy to be with anyone as I am here with you, David. Don't move. What? Look down there. Over the edge. See those rocks? The pointed one. Yes. Cathedral Rock, isn't it? Yes. Carol was standing right where you are when she fell. I... It's Carol who told you to get off the bus here, to come looking for a cat. Even made you know the cat's name, made you pick flowers in the morning like she always did. No, wait, David, wait. She's coming back to me, through you. Wait, David, I want to I tell you... I wanted Carol back, because I loved her. But I've been afraid. Because I murdered Carol. You murdered her? We quarreled. About Seth. She was standing just as you are. Right there. Oh, David. What's the matter? David, my back? Who oh, help me? My back? Something is stabbing me. It's stabbing me. <laughs> Oh. I'm going down to the village for the doctor, Seth. Don't want the doctor. 
Please, feeling better? No, you stay John. quiet. I'm going. Seth will look after you. I can get the dog faster by going for it. I... All right. You can stop the acting now. What happened? He was telling me that he murdered Carol. I had a pain. A terrible pain in my chest and back. It wasn't acting. Murdered Carol? That's crazy. You had an argument with her. She got mad and started to run back to the house. Tripped and went over the cliff. Everybody knows that. He feels guilty, that's all. He didn't say that. Probably didn't get a chance. Did you find out anything about the box of money? Yes, I know where it is. Where? The box is in the sub-cellar. Hey, I never thought of that. I'll go down now and... Wait. That thumping in the cellar. That have something to do with the box? Yes. I, I, I had to, Uncle Seth. Ben, he, he, he scared me and I closed the door and I bolted it on him. You fool. Well, I had to. Changes things. What do you mean? Didn't mean to do this, but I've got to now. I'm going with you. No, I... Alice. Aim to have all the money. You'll stay no. in the dark. See to that. <laughs> Ben? Ben? <laughs> you did all right. There sits the box. A hundred thousand or better. To pay for 40 years with the Morgans. <laughs> better than a hundred thousand. Hello, Seth. Hi. You might as well bring the box up with you. I wanted to get it myself. Alice, I hit you. You were unconscious. You killed Van. You killed my brother as well. Come on up and be careful. I know how to use David's gun. Alice, I didn't mean to leave you there. Come I was up with the box. Oh, would you rather I kick the door closed on you? Alice, don't be a fool. Let's get away first. Then I'll explain. Why do you call me Alice? That's your niece in California. I'm Carol. Carol's dead. Alice, you're out of your mind. Carol is dead. Is Carol... Really dead? Do I look dead? Does this gun look like a ghost was holding? I can prove it. But we've got to hurry. Prove I'm dead how? Come to the top of the cliffs with me. I'll show you Carol's grave. <laughs> You can see, can't you? There's the grave, weeks old. It's a trick. You did this to trick me. I am Carol. Look at the tombstone and read it. Here lies Carol Morgan, wife of David Morgan. I don't believe it. Where's David? He's gone to the village to get a doctor for you. You're my niece, Alice, and we've got his money box. Now come with me before it's too late. No, I don't believe you. It's a trick. David! Alice, get away from those rocks. You won't get this box. And you won't trick me with lies. David will take care of that when he comes. Give me that box. Don't come another step, Seth, or I'll kill you for sure. You wouldn't dare. You know good and well you killed Carol's brother. You won't dare shoot. Give me that box. <laughs> There she is, Doc, on the cliff, you see her? Now, take it easy, son. I'm not a young man. You run on to her. I'll catch her. All right, but hurry. Carol! Carol, get away from there. Carol, get back on the path. David, I thought you'd never come. Seth, he tried... Never mind that. Get away from the cliff. You're too close to the edge. Oh, my back. Oh, David, that pain again. Carol! Doctor, hurry. She's going to fade again. David! Carol, look out. You'll fall. Carol, you'll fall off the cliff. Dead. Carol's dead again. And pierced by the same rock. It was an accident, son. From what you tell me, she had a seizure. Pleurisy pain. Very painful and contorting. I say it. It was the pain of remembering how the rock 
felt when she fell. Carol's dead again. I wish I knew what happened here with Seth. She must have shot him just before we come. Oh, I, I can answer that easy enough. Carol always mistrusted Seth. She knew he was biding his time to steal our money. Probably followed him here with the gun after he took it from her. Where's the money? In that box? No. No, in the bank. That's what I don't understand. She must have forgotten about the stage money. How do you mean? You know her brother Van. Kind of simple in the head. She was always playing games with him like he was a kid. Yeah. Well, she gave him the box and filled it with paper money so he could hide it around the house and make believe finding buried treasure. Well, doesn't that prove the poor girl below couldn't be Carol? She'd have known there was no money in it. Oh, it doesn't prove that a bit. I searched the whole house for that box after she fell first time. Never found it. Last I talked with Van, he couldn't find it. Would anybody besides Carol know where it was hit? Well, all right. Have it your way. I'll leave you be for a spell, and I'll send the sheriff and help from the village. I've been a doctor too long to say what's dead can't live again. One way or another. <laughs> Poor David. Imagine a sailing man losing both his first and second mate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, well, so he winds up with a minus two as the net result. You know, one thing about it, when David buries Alice, he'll have less work. Just knock some new chips off the old block. <laughs> oh, I got a moral for you folks who like to go sailing. Next time you're on a boat, remember this. Trim the sails and not the sailors. Or you could wind up being the uh, salt of the earth. Mm. <laughs> Tonight's Inner Sanctum Mystery was written by Fred Matho and starred Larry Haynes in the role of David. Amzie Strickland played Alice, and music was by Lou White. This month's Inner Sanctum Mystery novel is Poor Prisoner's Defense by Richard Sheldon. The entire production of Inner Sanctum is under the direction of Hyman Brown. <laughs> Well, friends, it's time again to close that creaking door. Until next week at this same time, when we'll be back with another weird tale. Or oh, next week's scare, Skeleton in the Sun, is the short, frightful tale of a beach bum who tries to convert a hot corpse into cold cash. Where well, romance takes a turn for the worse, when he loses his mind over a girl who's already lost hers. You'll help mourn his passing, won't you? Next Monday. Until then. Good night. Pleasant dreams. Mm. Now, a listening reminder. Stay tuned for Henry J. Taylor and his up-to-the-minute commentary on Your Land and Mine. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company. <laughs>